Blitz for quarter number three, an interesting area round matchup for the Sudan Hornets, the Vega Longhorns, who have really had little issue with their schedule, save three games, Panhandle, Stratford and Groover. Now we already know what Stratford and Groover are able of capable of doing that. Who would win on paper? Looks like an incredibly interesting game. That's why we play the game. Let's go to Dimmit, Bobcat Stadium. Blake Gilter with a touchdown run there early on gives the Longhorns the 6-0 lead. More Gilter. 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 Coming right at you. Inside the 20-yard line sets up Carson Kirkland for the touchdown run. And you know what? This, remember, Sudan had had a great season. Well, their season came to an end tonight at the hands of the Vega Longhorns, 55-14. to Looks like a kind of a familiar score there. Let's go to some other scores from teams around the area. The Bold Gold look pretty good this year. They remain undefeated as well. 28 to nothing they win over Ozuna. And Sundown. You know what? They struggled early on in the season, but they have rebounded nicely. They beat Lindsay 45 to 21. Let's go out to uh, some other scores here. Have Holly, a winner over New Deal. So New Deal's season has been completed. And Rawls, they'll be right here in town over at Lowry Field. That is a three o'clock kickoff against the Wink Wildcats. Let's go on to some more action. Let's see how Coram Dio and Lubbock Christian turned out. Out in Abilene, first quarter, seven nothing Lions. Alex Lack to Cash Howard, that's a touchdown. 8-7 Eagles with a two-point conversion. Cooper Wall, the direct snap, the quarterback sneak in the end zone, 14-8 Lions. Second quarter, Timmons to Braden Martin, touchdown pass, 16-14. This thing goes back and forth between these two teams. Somebody's got to win this one. Might as well be Lubbock Christian. 56-34, the Eagles are still soaring. Kingdom Prep will open their postseason. They had a bye last week. They'll play against Living Rock Academy. That game will be at 3 o'clock in Blackwell.